Good morning, everyone, and a warm welcome to the Green Impact Week 2021 here in Copenhagen. I am very excited for the opportunity to open this event and to kickstart this week where we will be exclusively focusing on sustainability, creativity and impact, which in my opinion are the key uh, ingredients for the green transition and also for recovering and restarting our societies in a hopefully post-COVID-19 world very soon. A warm welcome to the Confederation of Danish Industry, or DI, as we say in short, which is the largest business member organization in Denmark, with more than 18,000 member companies across a wide range of industries and sectors. At DI, we are proud to actively support one of the most ambitious green political goals in the world, a 70% reduction of greenhouse gas emission in Denmark before the year 2030. And recently, the Climate Partnership for the Manufacturing Companies in Denmark formulated a very bold ambition of becoming the world's first climate-neutral manufacturing industry in the world. From DI, we are working with a broad range of stakeholders, such as the government here in Denmark, politicians at all levels, NGOs, national and local authorities, civil society organizations, and other key partners in both Denmark and abroad to assist us and our member companies in achieving those bold ambitions. And we work with the same partners to share the knowledge of the Danish solutions across the entire world to make sure that we learn from their successes, as well as sharing the benefits of the green solutions offered by Danish companies. No single nation can solve the challenges that our planet is facing all by themselves. This has been clear for a while. As the COVID-19 pandemic has reminded us again, it's only dialogue across borders and international collaboration that can solve global challenges. The Green Impact Week is one of those important venues for the dialogue and knowledge sharing required. Over the course of the next five days, the organizers have once again created the optimal foundation for boosting innovation, networking, and not least green impact by bringing experts and leaders within sustainability and creativity together. And the sole purpose is to accelerate the green transition and showcasing the Copenhagen experiences. From the program for the next five days, I feel confident that this purpose will be achieved once again. New collaborations and connections will be made between important stakeholders and will lead again to green impact both in the short and the long run. And for you physically present in this building in the House of Industry, who will also take part in today's program, I'm actually happy to inform you that you are actually in one of the most sustainable buildings in Copenhagen. The house that you stand in today was renovated in 2013 to have a particular green profile as the building was designed and built with special focus on sustainability. Sustainability was one of the cornerstones of the building, so to speak, and the choice of materials, indoor climate, conditions, working environment, and the operation of the house is all based on sustainability. And we are constantly working to make it even better, ensuring the lowest possible carbon footprint of the building. Therefore, I hope you will, be, you will feel confident and that you will feel comfortable in this building for the, during the day. Let me just end my welcome address with a small piece of advice that I have found to work with for all stakeholders in driving positive change and ensure green impact uh, in relation to creating more sustainable future. It goes like this. Do not make a sustainability strategy to support your activities. Make strategies for your activities based on sustainability. I wish you a great and fruitful day and week, and I look forward to joining you on the stage a little later, sharing some of the sustainability efforts of Danish companies, especially the SMEs. So thank you for your attention. And now I'm happy to give the online floor to the next speaker, which is the Danish Minister of Environment, Lea Vermelin. Welcome to this event. Thank you.